What up, fish people? Kenny E with the Anakin Aquatics. Well, today, guys, I want to do a species spotlight on the banded gungeons. I also wanted to throw, put it out there for you all to know that Danny and I do have a, quite a few of these for sale at the moment. And they are starting to get pretty good size. There's a little baby right there. But we have two more tanks downstairs with a few. So if you have been wanting to give a go at a Gungeon, these are a very hardy species. But keep in mind, they are also a very large species. These guys are about six. Six in the big females get to about seven inches long. So you are going to want at least a 55 gallon. But they are... Uh, a great great species we love them now we got these from fishtoberfest two years was it two three years ago now dan brought them in and danny and i got fifty dollars worth of uh tickets and we actually won these guys a very very beautiful fish highly highly recommend them they are pretty good breeders and I don't have any that have bred right now or I show you, but I've done other videos on them. But if you wanted just a cool f fish with great personality, guys, I'm telling you, you should give these a try. Absolute stunners. They're not skittish at all. Now, we've actually got too many in this tank. I'd recommend like a, for a 55, four of them at most, especially if they start breeding. But we've got all different sizes in here right now. This is the main tank that they bred in. Look at the size of that one. That's what they look like when they're little. There's a real little one. The brothers and sisters have ate a few of their other brothers and sisters, so luckily for that, or else we'd probably have two million of these guys right now. But like I said, I've never really put it out there that we have them for sale. So if you are interested in getting into banded gungeons, I would highly recommend them. And like I said, we'll, we have them available. They are one of the larger gungeon species. We keep these guys at 78 degrees, and it seems to be the uh, magic number for them. I think to date we've had, I think we've had nine or ten brews of these guys now. We haven't saved about the last seven sets of eggs or babies because we have a lot of them. So we do plan that down the road I'm probably going to, and trust one of my local breeders or somebody that I can trust with them. And we're probably going to off a couple of pairs of these too because they're, they are breeding prolifically. But this is a beautiful fish. We absolutely love them. Now we have noticed they don't do well with plants. They do like to rip them up but I'm not sure if it was them that did it or the we have three different types of plecos in here I've got my blue dragon there and there's a flash pleco in here and then there's a clown pleco in here and then a candy cane pleco there's the little candy cane so I'm not sure which did it Anyway, guys, aren't they stunning? Look at the reds. You can see the blues now that if I get closer. Such a cool fish. And they're just like a cichlid. They're very curious. They'll come up and look at you and talk to you. 
That one's been fighting with somebody. You can tell he's still flared up and mean. Now, they haven't noticed a lot of them beating on each other, but it, I will say they do get rather protective of their eggs. So what Danny and I found that it's easier to get the eggs out of there as soon as you see them. If you want to keep them, put them in a 10 gallon with a nice aeration. Um, and within seven days, you'll start to see little baby gungeons. Yeah, like I said, we've got two more tanks downstairs with them as well, so. And let me just put them in here with Dragonstone. Some chunks of wood. The wood's in there for the uh, Plecos more than anything. And you can see all the different uh, generations of them growing out in here now. There's another bigger one underneath there. That's what they look like as a juvenile. There's another of the bigger ones. But that's pretty much what they do. They just hang in these rocks if they're smaller to keep from their brothers or sisters taking them out. They are definitely cannibalistic as youngins. I think that's how they get big, is they eat all their brothers and sisters. As far as keeping them with other species, uh, Danny and I can't give you a very good uh, idea that way. We haven't tried to keep them with other than the species only tank, with the exception of plecos. We have four different types of plecos and haven't had a, any issue with them picking on the plecos. But generally speaking, they get along, as you can see. The only time they get a little gnarly with each other is when there's eggs involved. But we've only lost one to uh, aggression. And that was like the first time they ever bred. And the female went ballistic on everybody in the tank. Since then, they've all, every pair is paired off and did a couple rounds of eggs. Now I think they're getting used to the eggs. And I think they've come to the conclusion they can't protect their babies. <clears throat> so anyway guys I just wanted to give you an update on the banded gungeons if you think you might be interested in some all you have to do is email us at danikin.aquatics at gmail.com be more than glad to uh, reach out to you and tell you what it takes anyway guys as always love your fish it's Kenny E. check it out for now you all have an amazing day and this is the 31st of December 2023 so all of you that are planning to go out and do some festive things tonight. Just be sure to get a designated driver. Don't get a DUI or worse yet, kill somebody. Definitely, definitely, definitely be responsible. Anyway, guys, we love you all. We'll see you soon.